Now think about this example. What if I had two apples plus three apples plus four bananas? Well, clearly, if I have all of that, that's the same as having five apples right there, and then I still have the four bananas. So this is the same as five apples plus four bananas. The point here is that the two apples and the three apples could be combined because they're both apples. But I can't combine the bananas with that because those are different things. So the like terms end up getting combined and the unlike terms don't. Now apply that same concept with variables. Instead of apples, think A, and instead of bananas, think B. We have 2A plus 3A plus 4B. Well, here's an A term, and here's an A term. So those two terms can be combined. The 2A plus the 3A gives me a 5A, and then I still have the 4B right there. So this 2a plus 3a plus 4b is equal to 5a plus 4b. And being able to do that is very important. Being able to find and identify the like terms and combine them, that's a big deal. Now we'll work through a long list of examples here. The point here is that only like terms can be combined. So in each of these examples, we need to decide which terms are the like terms and then we simplify the expression by combining those terms. You need to make sure you understand every single one of these examples. Let's look at the first one, 6x plus 3x plus 2b. Well, these first two terms, the 6x and the 3x, those are both x terms. So those are like terms. The b term has to remain by itself. There are no other b terms to combine with the 2b. But the 6x and the 3x, combined to give me a 9x, and then I still have this plus 2b. So this expression simplifies to 9x plus 2b. We took the like terms and we combined them. Now the next one, 4a plus 8b minus 5a. Well I have an a term and an a term and don't forget that this a term is negative, that's negative 5a. So a 4a and a negative 5a, those get combined. And 4a and negative 5a, well 4 and negative 5 is negative 1. So this gives me a negative 1a, and then I still have the 8b, which can't be combined with anything, but it's still there. So this is negative 1a plus 8b. And you could write this without the 1, you could write this like this, negative a plus 8b. And you could also write it like this. You could also write it as 8b minus a. I've just reversed the order of the terms, but that's okay. I still have a positive 8b and a negative a in each one. And, and writing it either this way or this way would be more common than putting the, the 1 coefficient on there. Okay, let's look at the next one, 8x minus 3x minus 3y. Well, the two like terms in this case are pretty easy to identify. The, those are both x terms. 8x minus 3x is 5x, and I still have the minus 3y. So 5x minus 3y is the answer. In this next one, I have a 2a and a 4a. Both of those can be combined into a 6a. And the 3b and the 6b, those are both b terms. So those can be combined into a 9b. So I have 6a plus 9b. Those can't be combined any further because the a and the b are unlike variables. But the original expression can be simplified to 6a plus 9b. And this one, 6x plus 3b minus x. Well here is an x term and another x term and this one is negative. So I have 6x minus x, that gives me a 5x and then I still have this plus 3b. So 5x plus 3b is my answer. 